we're going to tear down this Yamaha engine now. So we started by just removing this little side cover here. And then we're going to line up our cam timing. You can see there's a notch here and then there's the mark there. Okay, now we're pulling this off and the stator's on the back side of this and it's going to kind of have to, you're going to have to pull on it because there's magnets inside of the flywheel here that are going to want to hold it on there so you'll just have to pull. And now with what we were talking about before about lining up these timing marks here is this, you can actually pull this plug out of here, just a Phillips head screwdriver and there'll be a little pointer in this thing and you're going to line up this mark here with the T for top dead center and then when you have that lined up this up here also lines up. Okay, now we got our flywheel puller here. It's a 35 millimeter by 1.5. So you're going to need one of them to get that flywheel off of there. And there's threads up on there, so you just put this on there and thread her on. As far as she'll go. Then you're going to thread this in. Make sure you don't lose any uh, spaces or anything. And we're going to take and slide this out of here. This just meshes up against the back of that flywheel for your starter engagement. Okay, and you can see there's a spacer sitting there. And there's a needle bearing in here that can come out if you're not paying attention. Okay, we pulled that gear out of there. We pulled our starter drive out of there. And we pulled our starter motor off because that's going to have to come off. And now we got our timing marks back lined up again. So now what you have to do is you have to take your tensioner here loose. You just loosen this one in the middle till it's loose. Then you take these two bolts out and take it out. You don't want to take this one all the way out. Okay, now that we got our tensioner pulled out of there, what we want to do, we got this lined up, you want to take, you want to take this bolt out of here so then you're going to take this sprocket out you just kind of got to work the chain off the edge of it and there's going to be a locator pin there. Okay once you got that stuff loose you're ready to pull the head off. There's two allen head bolts right here that you got to get out then you got your four head bolts loose them in a crisscross pattern get them loose you're going to need a rubber mallet probably tap that and then your whole cylinder head will come off you just have to guide this chain down through it. And if you're working on this on a machine where you're taking the head off to do work, you don't want your chain to slip down in there, down into your crankcase. So you want to tie a piece of wire around it, guide it through there, and then you'd want to tie that to like the frame or something to hold it. Well, with this, all you got is one Allen head bolt holding it. So, we're just going to take, push on our piston, and pull up on the cylinder. Now what we're going to do is, we got this bottom one here, it just sits down in there. We'll pull that one out. 
And the top one, there's two 10 millimeter bolts on it. Then we'll take that one out. I got some things for you to watch out for here. There's an O-ring on this right there. It goes in this spot right here and there's this little piece in here. This is the oil passage for engine oil to get to the top end of the engine to lubricate it. So you want to make sure when you put that back together you got this thing there and you got an O-ring that's good there. We're going to take and we're going to pull this out. We're going to set it down in here so that we don't lose it. Okay, now we're to the other side of the engine. We got that cover off. And we can tell we already got our uh, primary clutch off because that had the busted crankshaft. And then we got this out of there already. This is part of your uh, clutch release for when you shift. So, now we've taken and loosened all these up. Loosen a crisscross pattern evenly. Get it all loosened up. And now we're going to get our uh, springs out of here and get this off of here. And then we'll get the nut back here to get that off. Uh, secondary clutch off. And actually, what you're going to want to do with this is leave two of these on here to hold this clutch assembly together because we just need to take this nut in the middle off. So we'll put two of these bolts back in here to hold this together. Now there's a little uh, washer in here where they bend a tab up against this so that nut can't come loose. We'll uh, hammer that. Okay, we got our nut off. These are actually your whole uh, clutch packs where you got the metal disc and then you got the friction disc and all of them. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this out of here. You want to watch it because there's going to be a washer up here against the engine. You can't quite see it in there, but there. You can see the washer. And this just slides out. And you can see that's what comes out the other side of the engine. Take and set that down there. Now what we have to do is take this bolt out and take this off of here. This is what holds your uh, drum shift in place there. Okay, now what we've done is we've loosened up these three Allen heads that hold this on. This is what goes to your oil cooler. We're going to pull this off of here. And to anyone who doesn't believe an older four-wheeler, these Yamahas have oil filters. They do. And this one's all full of uh, little metal chunks and 